So guys, we finally made it here for Hallis Green 2025. Excited for the day, excited for the haunted houses, excited for the territories. Excited for just a great day all around to finally experience what Hallis Green is for the 25th anniversary. Let's get it, let's go. But as per usual, what better way than to get the day started here at Bush Gardens than a ride on the Legend of Zon itself, Loch Ness Monster. Fantastic as always. And uh, usually I love to yell when I'm on a roller coaster, but I call the football games in my old school. I'm still hoarse because we scored just so much. So it's hard to yell and you know, we got to finish up some new music. So can't really yell on the ride today, which is kind of a bummer. Didn't take anything away from the amazing ride that it was. I think it is pretty cool that they can change the seasons for the teacups, which is pretty cool. Now it's Twisted Terror and I know like Peppermint Twist at Christmas time or something. I don't know, but I think that's cool that they can just do a little overlay to make it just a little bit different during different seasons of the year. Well, not doing a train because uh, I'm trying to see Moss and Stomp and be a little close to time and I'm very time oriented, so I don't want to come and cut too close and not get a good seat. So I'm going to run a Polish Cherry instead great as always using my quick cue that I got from the passport to summer's 20 visits so that is coming in handy today for the rise in the haunted houses and now we're on the way from monster stomp in England Look, I just got a monster stop. Fantastic show as always. Seemed like they added a new set piece to it. I think it was like the second big set piece of the show. It seemed new and it was actually fantastic. The visuals and several parts actually seemed newer than before. So I thought they revamped it up a little bit, which was actually really good. I really enjoyed the show. It's always one of my favorites. And they, the cast kills it every time, especially the guys with the knives. Like that part is always awesome. The skeletons are hilarious. And like always, I don't film party shows because that's what party experience is coming here for. And there's other people on YouTube that do upload the shows so you can watch them there. But for me, as a performer, there's nothing like being in the moment. So I'd rather tell you about it and have you come experience it for yourself. That's how I like to do it here on the channel. But yeah, that show is absolutely fantastic. Make sure you come check it out before Hallow Scream is over. Because that show was, I mean, the energy is absolutely electric. And it's memorable, and all the set pieces are mesmerizing. And the music is so high powered. The music choices are great. But now we're in Ireland, which is really cool because they have the monsters back for Fiends, which is really sick because I haven't seen the monsters in years. So it's exciting to see those back. I haven't seen those since I was a kid. And uh, now we're going to get in line for Fiends, the prequel. I'm super excited. My first time seeing Fiends in person. Let's get it. Let's go. Now this one seems new. I don't remember this one being here. But maybe it was. I don't know. Like I said, it's been over a decade since I've seen them. Just got out of Fiends and holy cow, 
that was possibly the best show I've seen at Williamsburg, Bush Gardens Williamsburg in such a long time. The music was great, the dance was great, the jokes, the jokes between the doctor and Igor were insane. Nothing was off limits. They made jokes about Beyonce. They had a cool like little Chappelle Roan joke. They had a cool like Tinashe joke. They made jokes about uh, that dude with a lot of mansions. That dude, that joke, I was absolutely dying laughing. The uh, the Eros tour joke. I mean, it was just hilarious from beginning to end. The Will Smith jokes, uh, those were hilarious. Those were golden. And I just, holy cow, I had saved myself from seeing any spoilers for the show. I avoided any videos of it. And thank goodness I did because I'm so glad I waited because that show was absolutely fantastic. And you guys got to come check it out before How the Scream is over because I promise you, this show is worth it. This show is fantastic. Possibly the best show I've seen uh, Bush Gardens Williamsburg put on since All for One. Make sure you go check it out. We are here for Phantoms of the Fest House, and then we'll be out there for the Witching Hour, and then it's time to start with the Haunted Houses, and the real reason why you guys are here for the actual Hollow Screen experience. We're almost there, getting close. I'm hyped for all the Haunted Houses and scare Mazes, well, I mean, in a, uh, the territory, so let's get, let's go. Monster Manor, let's get it. Howl Scream quick cues are so good. Yeah,
So to get a special preview of this one at the event several weeks ago or over a month ago, I uh, liked how it looked then and it looks really sick. The lights down and all the effects and all the scary actors did a terrific job in there. It seems like everyone was super into it. So I love that one. Now it's on to Clown Town. This is, this is messing with my mind. Oh boy, oh boy. This one is confusing me so much. <laughs> oh, it's a carnival game. Clown Town was very good, chaotic at the beginning, but once you got through the first part, it was pretty good. It's more, definitely a mental one, one that really messes with your head. So really good there, and the scare actors look—they're having a fun time. It's really cool. But past my dark coaster, and they actually have dark coaster lit up. Let me show you. Honestly, they could keep that effect for dark coaster year round. I think purple or something. I think that'd be really cool to just kind of help the immersion of the whole storm and dark coaster kind of thing.
Can't go today without a ride on Alpengeist. And a night ride on Alpengeist was absolutely superb. Felt like it was flying. It looked really cool. Saw the moon upside down. That was really sick. But uh, yeah, on to the next. <laughs> Learned a lot of things that were turned this year. Underrated is uh, the, spider, the spider bridge. Absolutely fantastic seeing it back. You know what else is amazing? You come walking around Bush Gardens today and you are seeing so many people proudly wearing Commander's merch. We are proud to be Commander's fans again. It's exciting. I need to give me some Commander's merch, but it's exciting that we can be proud of this team again, passionate about this team again, and seeing so many Commander's things everywhere has been awesome. Now we're in Stalker Street. has quite come to match Wendigo Woods when they had that here. That was an unmatched level of creepiness and uh, suspense of what you what was going to crawl up behind you, in front of you, across you. Yeah, nothing compares quite to Wendigo Woods. But Stalk Street's pretty solid. Now we're at the bash. That's pretty cool, not too populated, but it's pretty cool. I like the idea of it, very colorful, all set Stalker Street. And uh, now we're heading on to Kalani Diner. Is this something that used to be in Germany? You know what I realize, guys? The Jack Hanna Wild Reserve area, or the Wild Reserve area, has not been populated. It hasn't been populated since I was like 10 or something when they had the wolves. And you know, usually that would be something that I'd be like, well, come on, let's do better. But thinking about it, it's probably because they don't want to spook the animals. Makes sense, doesn't it? They get a pass on that one. Time for Killarney Diner Condemned. Let's see how this is here. Yep. <laughs> Come on. 
Spider-Man. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Mom would hate this. Mind time, let's get it.
Also, there's someone in there I think could tell I was recording and one of the people walking behind us kept saying skippity toilet. Why the brain rod, bro? Why the brain rod? So Lost Minds was good. It's a mental one. It messes with your mind. It's very claustrophobic. It's very close in. It was very good. Actually, you're going to be doing really good. I love the effects in there, like the lava and everything. The little Jones reference, of course, obviously. But no, that was really good. That was really good. And now we're on to the last haunted house of the night, Death Water Bayou. Let's get it. water by you and uh there was missing a key element the uh foggy water scene the swamp scene a scene that trips me out more than any other scene where was it i don't know and it's bothering me that i don't know where why why wasn't it there i miss that but other than that it was really good it's always good uh the energy's good the actors are always 
good in that one. The music is good. The scenery is good. Just a swamp scene. More than that swamp scene. The bayou section is pretty cool. Love the costumes in this section. And uh, now I'm going to go check out Gorgon Gardens. And it'll be time to make the way out to the park. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they had the people statues this year. Kind of disappointing because those were awesome and very impressive by the scare actors of all. It's kind of sad that we don't have them this year, but. It is what it is. so good I thought they were the statues that's good credit to y'all y'all had me fooled With that guys wraps up an excellent day here at Hallow Scream at Bush Gardens. I really enjoyed it this year. I think the haunted house was really good. The territories were well decorated. The lighting in the park was amazing. The shows were the highlight of the day. Phantoms of the Fest House, Monster Stop, and of course Fiends the Frequel. Absolutely the highlights of the day. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about Hallow Scream this year. And um, I'll post a video next week, kind of giving my thoughts over the entire event this year from what I experienced and what other people have experienced. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to that bell button down below so about every single time a brand new video to the channel. Make sure to go pre-save my new single sunglasses dropping this Friday. And make sure to go join the Patreon where you can see an extended cut of this vlog and all the other vlogs that I have recorded here at Bush Garden Williamsburg. Thank you all for watching. My name is Morris and I'm out. Peace. I know I'll see you in passing. No one to be distracted. Put my sunglasses on. And the man you knew was gone.